Okay, today we're going to do an installation of a perfect vent. First things you'll need to install your vent are A, your perfect vent template, drill, some type of knife, tape measure, multi-tool, perfect vent, and a shop vac. First, if this is your room, corner of your room where your air duct is, you will install your floor over top of the air duct. So for time's sake, assuming this is the wall here, I've already marked where that vent is underneath just by taking measurements where the other vent was underneath, marking it on the surface so I know where my hole is under the floor. At that point, you take your perfect vent template, center it over top of the marks that you made on the floor, using your drill and two small screws. You attach the perfect vent template down. Then using a multi-tool with a straight blade. You don't want to use one that has a flare to it, just a straight blade. And using even sweeping motions with your cutting, make sure you're not to just plunge through it to leave an uneven mark on the edge. Using even motions on the side, you'll just cut through the top layer, continue all the way through, make your way around all four sides of the template. Once you're done there, it's a good idea to clean up a little bit, see what you're working with. Remove your template. Everything will be cut except where the last two tabs are. You can remove the template and either spin it 180 degrees and realign it and then the holes will be slightly offset or you can just shift it down slightly reset it and then recut that last little bit Sometimes it helps using one of the screws, put it back in to be able to grab it. If you're 
you have a little bit of debris around the edges, that's where the knife comes into play. So just a little bit of cleanup from the top vinyl layer melting a little bit. And then your corners, there's sometimes a little bit of debris left. And once you have that cut out, you'll have exposed the air duct. Take your perfect vent, the metal support plate. That plate point slides underneath the floor and takes position over top of the air hole. There's a slight laser etched line in the top of the metal just to help you with aligning. Once you get it in place, you may have to adjust it slightly just to make sure that it's completely offset to the holes. At that point, you take your perfect bench after a little more cleanup. And drop it into place. I've still got a little bit of cleanup to do on the edges here but it's minor, a little bit uh, more time with the knife. We'll just take a little, the rest of these pieces off of there. You see one direction, the airway is closed. By removing and spinning, it opens the airway, so you do have the ability to open and close the air duct just based on the direction that the vent is placed in the hole there.